Industry 4.0. What is Industry 4.0, and how is it relevant to us? Industry 4.0 is the fourth industrial revolution, that is supposed to have started off across the world in manufacturing companies. Various studies suggest, that the revolution has passed the conceptual stage, and started giving significant results across the world in some companies. The term Industry 4.0, was coined by German government in 2011. The term Fourth Industrial Revolution was coined in 2016 by Klaus Schwab, founder and executive chairman of World Economic Forum. The earlier industrial revolutions had specific products that revolutionized the manufacturing. Steam engine, electricity, and computers played major role in the last three industrial revolutions respectively. The Fourth Industrial Revolution comprises of a range of technologies, such as artificial intelligence, robotics, Internet of Things, autonomous vehicles, 3D printing, that are combining the physical, digital, and biological worlds. The fourth industrial revolution, comprises of so many individual technologies, that it is very much possible, that you would have already been touched by one of these technologies. Many companies today, have robots working in their shop floors. Some companies have vision inspection systems to automate the quality inspection process. Some companies would have tried out the 3D printing process for their new product development process. Some other companies have AGVs, automatic guided vehicles, to ferry inventory from one fixed location to another. The interesting thing about this industrial revolution, is that each company has a chance to use the technologies, that are available and formulate a unique digital ecosystem for themselves. The output that a company, can get from this industrial revolution depends on, how well it is able to synthesize the technology available to improve efficiencies in manufacturing, and more importantly give a much better product and service to the customers. Many of us use Google Maps, to navigate our way to the places, that we visit. Now, this same technology can be used to locate your customers on the map, and make your own customized company map of customers, that can be used to define beats for your sales force, and ensure the customers are getting efficient attention. Now, how many companies are using this? Some companies, are definitely using while many others may not be using. What is the current status in Indian manufacturing companies? Currently most of the Indian companies, are at a very basic level of efficiency. There is much more that the companies, can do even before they think about industry 4.0. Indian companies, have plenty of agenda in the following areas. Many Indian manufacturing companies, have not yet implemented the basic lean practices in their shop floors. The pull principle, is not being used. There are many companies, that are still having batch production on their shop floor. The layouts, are still archaic that necessitate unnecessary movement of material. Companies, are allowing excess production, as they do not want their workmen to be idle. There is no focus on the skills of the workmen. With the attrition problem on the shop floor, this is a serious problem for the industry. Many companies, have not solved some perennial supply issues, and resultantly produce according to the material is available, and not what customer wants. Companies, are not using any type of software at all. The basic ERP is missing in companies. Wherever the companies, have installed automated machines, and invested into technology, those companies are having more problems with the higher technology machines. The quality losses are higher in these machines, they break down more, and over a period of time many of the wonderful features of these machines, are bypassed, and it is used worse than its less automated cousin, that is coexisting. This is not a complete list of problems. There may be some companies, that are using technology and lean principles. But, this is a very small percentage. There are three issues in this situation. 
Understanding Lean Approach Majority of Indian companies have still not understood and leveraged the lean principles. People Element We have not understood how to address the people element when we bring in higher technology. We need to help the person involved to work differently. Short-term approach. We are still looking at this year results, and many of us are worried about this quarter performance, and this month's performance. We continue to remain short-term. While this is the status, there are some companies, that are waking up as the market competition is increasing, and they can't simply tolerate the huge inefficiencies on the shop floor. Every company, has to wake up. If they are not woken up by the Indian competition, then they will be woken up by the international competition. The other side. While this is the status of majority of the companies, trying to implement Industry 4.0, the companies offering Industry 4.0 solutions, are also in the same boat. While there are some international companies, like Siemens, and a few of local companies, that have understood, how to use Industry 4.0 elements to take their clients to the next level, majority of the companies offering the expert services of Industry 4.0, do not know what they are talking about. So, we have a very dangerous combination of companies, who are not ready for Industry 4.0, but want to implement it anyway. On the other side, we have a big contingent of companies, who do not know anything about manufacturing offering Industry 4.0 solutions. A lot of money is getting wasted. What is needed to adapt the technologies under Industry 4.0? We would suggest 4 is and 1P for this purpose. Information. Companies need to learn about the technologies that are available. How other companies worldwide are using them to improve efficiencies. This basic exposure is essential to ensure that the companies are aware of the opportunities. Companies like Siemens, M Magazine, are conducting seminars or panel discussions across the country, to promote this awareness and create discussion. Intent. After understanding, how other companies are progressing, and how there may be number of opportunities, the senior management needs to form a strong intent to transform. Every company needs to find their own way of building this intent. In industries like automotive, sometimes the customer does it for you. If a customer insists for an automated vision inspection system, then you have to do it. You may not have choice. But, where this internal pressure is not there in an industry, the CEOs have to play a big role. Imagination. Once there is an intent at top levels in a company, the senior management has to use their imagination to identify the application of the different technologies available. Specific projects have to be formulated. Sometimes, it may be necessary to take help from outside, to ignite this spark in the company. Implementation. The specific projects, have to be followed up, and implemented to get good results. After the initial results, the company has to formulate an Industry 4.0 strategy, and take it up as a major initiative to gain competitive advantage in their respective industries. People. People are the key to making gains, in the fourth industrial revolution. Especially in India. We need to expose our core team to the various possibilities, and technologies. We need to invest in training the teams in various systems and technologies. We need to teach them, to become more tech savvy and digital savvy. We need to encourage them to be more data driven. Only those companies, whose teams can have better imagination of the application of the available technologies to the problems and opportunities in their industry, can take advantage of the Industry 4.0. This is a big opportunity for Indian companies to beat their world-class competitors using the Industry 4.0. But, it is weapon available to all. Speed matters here. How can we go forward? Decip the current status of the manufacturing company, if they have understood the need to improve their efficiencies, and the power of lean, then they can progress. We would suggest, that these companies take up a re-engineering of their manufacturing, that would involve the following. Put three-year targets like, tripling people productivity, 
blue and white collar please. Cutting quality losses by 75%. Cutting manufacturing costs by 50%. Solving 100% of customer related problems permanently. You can formulate a few more goals that are relevant to your company. Only a big target will wake up your company and your team. You will achieve it. Formulate a full-time task force, which can be filled with young engineers straight from college. Bring in technical experts as needed. But, having a positive mindset, is more important than the technology. There should be representation from every function in this task force. Educate their employees on lean principles starting with the top. Recast their value stream map on the basis of lean principles. Resolve the perennial problems like material shortages, bad subcontractors, who do not deliver on time and so on, perennial quality problems, that have become as permanent in the company as the owner himself or herself. Formulate several projects, that should be championed by the task force with help from the regular teams. On the way at the right time, we should start educating the employees on Industry 4.0, and the technology that is available. Visiting international companies, to understand the lean principles in action or Industry 4.0 in action, is a very good idea. Implement Industry 4.0 elements as needed to achieve the three-year goals. Finance head should ensure, that there is no project, that is being done just for the fancy of it. Every project, should pay back handsomely. When you are achieving some big targets in three years, that will allow you to spend a good amount of money to achieve it. The problem of how to finance the Industry 4.0 projects, will be addressed. So, you can turn your weakness of low efficiency, and not having implemented lean into something more positive, as it would help you to spend good amount of money, as you will get the payback relatively easier. Improve your profits significantly, and become a genuine implementer of lean and Industry 4.0.